Eyewitness News on the Health Beat now. Face lifts, tummy tucks, rhinoplasties, and even Botox. Cosmetic procedures are becoming more popular, more affordable, and more technologically advanced. Like millions of others, Pam Wallace looked in the mirror and wasn't satisfied with what she saw. She decided going under the knife was an experience she was willing to endure in an effort to turn back the clock. Pam Wallace had always been blessed with a youthful appearance. I always said to myself that uh, as, when I got older, I would want to age like Katherine Hepburn. It seemed the signs of aging had eluded her until recently. So I look in the mirror and I look older than I feel. Pam had always believed you're only as old as you feel. But at age 55, she found the physical aspects of aging were taking their toll, not just on her appearance, but on her well-being. My eyes feel tired all the time because of the extra skin. Pam says it felt like her face was moving downward and her energy was going down with it. That was when she turned to Dr. Patrick Sullivan in Providence. A renowned plastic surgeon, Dr. Sullivan opened her eyes to a world she thought so she had forgotten. Do is bring about a more neutral positions. After a few lengthy consultations, Pam and Dr. Sullivan agreed she would undergo six different procedures from her forehead to her jawline, all in one surgery. They call it facial rejuvenation. Facial rejuvenation is the latest form of the commonly termed facelift. This revamped procedure is producing more natural results and a more complete look. Dr. Sullivan begins with each patient by asking them to bring in a photograph of themselves when they were in their 20s or when they felt they looked their best. Now, we certainly can't make you look 20 years old again, but it's amazing with the techniques that are available, just how much can be done. I don't want to ha look like anybody else or have anything changed. I just want to look a little bit younger the way I feel. Before the surgery, Dr. Sullivan repeats the game plan. Right at the corner of your mouth, pulling it down. His markings pointing the way toward a new face and hopefully a new outlook on life. It's like a road map. Roadmap to youth. <laughs> and tomorrow we'll follow Pam into the operating room as I witness firsthand her facial rejuvenation. And we'll also talk more with Dr. Sullivan about the recent popularity of cosmetic surgery and how these procedures have changed and improved.